YouTube. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a very casual, casual style video, but I kind of wanted to show you guys my little setup going on here before I went in and just talk through everything that I was going to be doing for today's video. So I'm going to be doing my own tape and extensions. I already have one pack in and I accidentally, this was supposed to be part two of the video, but I accidentally deleted all the footage of part one showing you guys my before showing how i install them and like going through the process how tapins work so i'm gonna try to like do all of that today but one pack was not enough for my hair because i do have short fine thin hair and it's a pretty blunt cut i'll show the back once i you know sit down in my little station here but you can definitely see where my hair ends and where the hair extensions begin and it's just not a very good blend so i went ahead and purchased another pack and i'll talk through how i apply my tape and extensions this is not i'm not a professional this is not a how-to video by any means i just thought it would make an interesting video to sit on youtube and i thought mainly for entertainment honestly so just take everything that you see on youtube with a grain of salt um but here's my little station here i just found that this works best for me so i have like a a little bench and I'll sit behind it and I have this mirror here that way I can see the back of my head and then I push this as close as possible to the mirror just so I can see what I'm doing so I'm gonna sit behind here I have a video and I'll link it right here of me doing my own tape and extensions on the sides just for volume and I cut the tape and extensions to my natural hair length that was pretty easy to do because it's just right here on the sides so I can really see easily. When you're doing tape and extensions in the back, that's where it can start to get tricky. So the way that tape and extensions work, let me actually open these here. I got these off of Amazon and I have purchased a few different brands off of Amazon as well as from Lily Hair, which is not on Amazon, but right now my hair is pretty hard to color match. It's like so many different shades of blonde. Like right here on top, it's more of like platinum blonde highlights, but underneath, it's more warm toned and underneath my hair is like a perfect match for these extensions. So this is the only reason why I chose these extensions. Otherwise, I've never tried them. I've never heard of, heard of them before. This is the brand Six Star Hair and it was $50 for these 14 inch extensions. So pretty affordable and I did already wash them once. They did get a little bit like drier on the ends so they're not as silky smooth, but I actually like when the extensions um, kind of get a little bit more lived in if you will i don't like that whole super smooth feeling it just doesn't feel like natural hair this way it feels you know more realistic i'm not sure how they'll be long term so i'll try to update in the description box because a lot of i have tried extensions before where i love them and then a few weeks later they just matted up like a bird's nest and they were just absolutely awful so we will see with these i've never tried this brand so i can't say but let me go ahead and open these up this is the color b81860 and 14 inches like i said so in case anybody is curious these are the deets and i will link them down below as well you get the tape ins you get replacement tape which is really nice because if these are good quality you wear them for about four to six weeks and once they start to grow out you remove them using like rubbing alcohol or spe special uh tape and extension remover and they usually come right out no problem you just got to be very careful and then you can take off the old tape and put on new tape and reuse them so long as the quality of the hair is still good and you also get a clip like this which is great for you know when you're doing tape ins and then also like a rat tail comb like so each pack that you buy has 30 uh, 10 sandwiches so there are 20 pieces and you sandwich them together in between your own hair so i'll show you guys in the front what I mean by that if you are completely new to tape and extensions because I'm doing this myself the method might be a little different than what you would get done professionally but you want to make a clean part as clean as possible say like this so you want to make sure the part is clean as possible you know you don't want like zigzags or anything like that and what I do is you take off the backing for the tape and I stick it wherever I want to place it and I place it wherever it is I want to place it but I would say place it about quarter to half an inch away from the root because if you place it too close to the root it's going to pull and tug on the hair and it's just going to be super uncomfortable you can cause damage so you do not want it like it directly at the root I would say leave about a quarter to a half inch I usually place it about like right here and then because this is the sticky side I kind of like stick it to the hair and then when you go to flip it over 
some of your own hair is gonna be stuck to this and you only need like the smallest section. You don't want too much hair in between because if you have too much hair, then it might not hold because you don't have enough adhesion. You have too much hair in between the sandwich. I'll try to show you guys when I'm actually doing it, but I am a visual learner. So it's probably gonna be even less than this, honestly. But a few pieces of hair are gonna get stuck to the tape and then you also want to make sure that this part is clean when you flip it over so you want to make sure that it's like a straight line as well and that's when you take your other side of the sandwich take off the tape uh, the backing for the tape and literally sandwich it right on top and that's essentially how tape and extensions work so this is the method that i do to do it on my own hair when you get it done at the salon usually what they'll do is take like a very 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 fine section and kind of place the tape in underneath and then sandwich this one on top. But because I'm doing my own hair, it's so much easier for me to, to do it that way. So let me actually insert a photo of what my hair looks like before. I'm gonna try to find a video that I have somewhere floating around from old videos or something. But my hair is like a short, blunt cut. Usually I can get away with one pack, no problem. I've never used more than one pack. That's how thin and fine my hair is. But because it's so short and it has such a blunt cut, I just need two packs. Let me show you what the extensions look like right now. I don't ever plan to wear my hair straight like this. I definitely plan to curl it and when you curl it it blends so much better you can obviously see especially like right here where the hair ends so I'm gonna do I think one more layer what I ended up doing was I did three different rows so in the first row I did three pieces in the second row I did three pieces and then I did one more row with just two pieces so that's eight and then I had two left over like two sandwiches left over and I cut those in half and place them right here in the front. So you can actually cut the tape ends in half. And I have one here, and then I have another one here. Just because my hair in the front is, you know, a little bit more sparse and I don't have a lot of volume here, so cutting them in, ha in half definitely helped with that. But now I have to go in and kind of like fill in and try to blend it a little better, which is tricky because I applied the first few layers thinking that I would only need one pack. So now I just kind of have to do the unconventional method of trying to squeeze in these sandwiches where I can without um, it being uncomfortable and like positioned properly and things like that. Again, this is not a professional video. If I were to do this all over again, I wouldn't do three, three, and two. I would do more like three, four, or five, you know, just place them better. Just to show you guys, here's the first layer here. There's one, two, three, as you can tell. And when you part your hair, you wanna make sure you're doing a very clean part, like I said. I'll create like a horseshoe shape with the part as if I were to like apply a weft. So that's another little tip that helped me that I saw online. All right, I managed to squeeze two sandwiches in in the third row just because I only had two pieces there. So I did, um, I think I did one on this side right here and then one on the other side. And then I made one more, so this is gonna be the fourth row. I made another clean part like so. And normally I honestly would not place them this high because I really don't have a lot of hair. I have fine, thin hair. And when I um, put my hair over the tape and extensions, I don't want them to be visible. So I want as much of the hair at my crown to be covering the extensions. But I also feel like this will help them blend better, putting them a little bit higher. I think I'll do three because my hair is shorter and more of a blunt cut. So adding that fourth layer hopefully, uh, blah, 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 hopefully helps them blend better as well. So we will see. Yeah, so I think I'll do like, like one, two, and then three. fourth layer I added one two three sandwiches and then underneath it that's where I added the other two one here one here so I added five extra all together but I feel like that fourth layer made such a huge difference in the blending right here like it just blends so much better I think I'm gonna do add like a half in the front somewhere like take one and add a half in the front or I might leave it like this because I actually feel like 
this is not so bad and I don't want to overdo it either. And plus I like to put my hair up a lot, like in a bun or something. So if I were to add too much in the front, you'd be able to see them. Whereas right now you really cannot see the tapes at all. Just because I have these two pieces here. Where are they? There's one here and one there and I cut them in half. So that was like a great tip that somebody told me about cutting them in half. My ponytail feels so thick right now. <laughs> I love it. Let me go ahead and curl it and then pop back on here and kind of like close out this video. Okay, here's the big reveal. So I'll insert another picture of my hair before so you guys can see. And then this is the after. I'm so happy with how they came out. I personally always wear extensions um, curled. I feel like they just blend so much better when they're curled. And then this is the back right here. I think it's a pretty good blend, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really really happy with how they came out. I think the blend is really good. If I were to go back I'd probably place four here instead of spacing them out as three um, And then I added a fourth row and I added one two three there So I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen sandwiches all together And I feel like that's plenty. I wouldn't recommend this if you're completely new to tape ends, but I have tried I've had tape and extensions so many times in the past and I did do my own in the front a few times right here and it's really not so bad. So far, so good, fingers crossed it remains that way but that kind of concludes my entertaining little how I did my own tape and extensions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and I will see you guys in any future videos.